rapidly gaining household status. And it's no surprise, with almost one in four Australians aged between 20 and 34 still living at home. Furthermore, researchers say women are becoming slaves to their children by becoming domestic goddesses for them, breastfeeding for longer, doing their chores and even befriending, befriending them on Facebook and in turn neglecting their husbands. What's going on in the world, Larry? I'm this... not commenting on anything, Tyler. <laughs> this emphasis is perfect parenting on perfect parenting has been coined hyper-parenting and it's created a new breed, the Stepford Mum. But some believe this emerging trend is putting modern mothers and their relationships under stress. Okay, so how do you know if you are a Stepford Mum and how can it affect your relationship with your family? Well, joining us live from the UK is sociologist and parenting author Dr. Tina Miller and a Melbourne relationship expert, Dr. Bella Elwood Clayton. Ladies, good morning to you both. Tina, let me start with you. You've actually written a book about hyper parenting before. Why is this trend occurring? Well, I've written a book actually on transition to motherhood and transition to fatherhood not looking for hyper-parenting, but that's partly what I found. Um, and I, there are various reasons for why that might be occurring. I think one of the things is that we expect parents, it's no longer good enough just to do good enough parenting, but actually you have to have the latest equipment, the latest buggy, and then when you have the baby, you're expected not just to obviously care for it, which we would all be doing, but also taking it to the, the gym club, to the music group, to a whole range of other activities, as well as you know buying particular um, Einstein um, computer programs and all sorts of things for your children. So I think uh, there's a lot of reasons for this. Consumerism is one of them. Okay, we talk about mums. What about dads? Does this hyperparenting affect dads as much as mums, or is it because we have all this mother guilt? Well, mothers do have guilt, and I think that men escape that because society doesn't have the same expectations of men. And mothering is largely invisible unless it goes wrong, and then we, we see it and we, uh, you know, questions are asked. But certainly for fathers, fathers when they're doing fathering are very visible. So we notice fathers out and about, uh, you know, with their child in the park, with the buggy, etc. And one way of them demonstrating or demonstrating that they're doing involved fathering is actually being out with the child doing the sorts of um, activities that I might call hyper-parenting. I don't just mean kicking a football round in a park, but I do mean all this added on extra music groups, gym groups, etc. Okay. Bill, let's bring you in here. How can being a slave to your children affect your relationship with your partner? Well, we only have so much time, right? So if we look at really where we're directing all of our energy towards our children, our home, our social life, our career versus our partner, we need to see where the distribution is. If our children are getting a lot more of our attention, then our relationship can likely suffer. Relationships, romance, and dy dynamic energy between our partners in, in relationships really do require attention and effort. They can't sustain themselves. Okay, I mean, we want to set a good example for our kids as having a great relationship with our partners. I mean, this can affect how children view their own relationships in the future, can't it, Bella? It certainly can. If we're consistently putting our children first before our partners, our relationship can quite likely diminish in terms of goodwill and in terms of sensuality. When this happens, as reflected in divorce rates, we can see that relationships deteriorate. So what we can do here is if we really want to set a good example to our children, we can do the best relationship we have with each other by focusing our attention and giving and nurturing our adult relationship as well as our children. Okay, uh, Bella and Tina, thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate thank that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you.